Squeaky, good to see you again. This is becoming a little bit of a tradition now. Um, after the Galway Festival, we play golf here in Bunclody, and thankfully I beat you again today, but um, but, ha but happily I got the money from your partner, Strawberry, instead. Yeah, you got no money off me this time. Your partner uh, basically made a bet on the night that wasn't a very good one. And no, Eddie, I, Eddie, Eddie I, is a betting man. I ended up winning the money. Yeah, I will say for a skinny man, you do hit the ball very far. But um, um, you like to get home this time of year, Squeaky yeah, look, Galway Festival, yeah, which is home. Two weeks of racing, no racing, no jump racing in England uh, at the minute. So it gives me 10 or 11 days off. So I come home, bit of Galway, go to Galway, it's usually the weekend when I'm off. Um, and then I come down this side of the country because spent a lot of time this side down this side of the country racing so that's where i met you and a few of the other lads and called them at mullins and stay with them and stuff like that so it's good to see everyone you're a very good uh, close friend of them and of course uh he had an unbelievable week last week in galway and overall his the training career has gone so well from so far oh yeah he's, he's very good at it for a young trainer he's not been training very long he he knows the calendar very well. He knows where the good prize money is, and he's very good at targeting them. Um, your career now as an agent, you're what just over a year in. You have nine riders. Things are going really well for you. Are you happy that you've taken this new role up? Oh yeah, couldn't have been happier. Um, I was happy to stay riding like I told you last year, but yeah, I love the job I do. I thought I'd like it when I was doing it, uh, but I, I enjoy it so much more than I thought I would do. Uh, I knew I'd get a kick out of it, but it, it, it's a great buzz. As I mentioned, nine riders. Um, of course, your number one rider. I know you don't like to say that any of them are your number one rider, but Sean Bone being that yeah, you know, leading never, rider. I'd, I'd never mention any of them as, as number ones. They're all the same to me. They're all as good as each other. I'll you have a their, job to do for them I'll, all, basically. I'll, I'll put their name on a text message, and I'm delighted when one of the trainers come back and picks one of them with whoever it is. But, yeah... If you're looking at the jockey's table, Sean Bowen is at the top of it at the minute and hopefully he can stay there. And the other eight you have? Uh, James Bowen, his brother, has been off injured for a while. He's coming back uh, next week after the break. Kevin Brogan's also injured. Hopefully he'll be back at the break. Aidan Coleman had a nasty fall in, uh, in early in the summer and done his knee. Not sure how long he'll be out for. He's enjoying a bit of time in America, I see, at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, he is. But hopefully he'll be back um, early into the when the jumping gets going. And then John Joe O'Neill, Jack Hogan, Michal Nolan, and Derek Fox, who's injured at the minute as well. So hopefully he'll be back soon as well. That's a nice book of lads to have, lads who are who are consistently riding winners and, and riding plenty as well. Yeah, yeah, look, at they're all, they're all brilliant jockeys and, you know... A, if I was a trainer, I know it's easy for me to say, but if I was a, a trainer or an owner, I'd be happy to have any of them. What's what's your biggest challenge as an agent um, overall, day to day? Uh, getting answers off trainers. <laughs> okay, right. And in terms of like that challenge of like trainers, obviously leaving things till the last minute. Ah, look at the, some of some of them, in the winter. You know, there's so much racing and they've so many choices in England of where to run and you might avoid one and they might be declared at the last minute and others might change their mind and go around so it, it happens it's part of the if the job was easy there'd be a lot of people doing it so I, I enjoy all that I enjoy all that and you know working out whether a race is going to be good or bad and I just love racing I love watching racing if I, when I was riding, if I didn't have a ride on the day, I would watch the racing in the evening. So, you know, part of my job is watching racing, seeing if there's Sandow horses or horses that lads are deal with regularly to avoid or, you know, if it won and was impressive, a bad race or, you know, it won a bad race, but I might take it on. You know what I mean? So you get some people asking you things like that, but I, I enjoy it all. And adding to that nine, are, are you looking for, is it volume with you or do you want to try and keep it tighter and more, you know? No, I, th I think, I think I've, I've, got, I've got a lot of good lads and yeah, if someone, if my door is always open, phone is always on for someone to ring and have a conversation and we'd see 
what their plans were, what my plans were, and if we both were happy, we'd go ahead. If one of us weren't, there's no point. You obviously want to have a champion jockey on your hands as well. You want Sean to become oh, champion yeah, jockey. That, like, is, that, is that the main goal? Yeah, but it doesn't matter which one of them is champion, if you ask me. But yeah, Sean is the one that's in the yes. position this year. But, you know, winning the big races as an agent, you get a kick out of <clears throat> any race. I sit at home, I'll probably get more excited about one of them having any winner midweek or not. But yeah, Aidan Coleman winning grade ones last year. Great buzz out of that. I can imagine. You know, Derry Fox winning the national, unbelievable. But even just watching, you know, the the five or six lads that were in Aintree that I had, they, they all rode in the national. Um, all the lads that I had that were at, at Aintree rode in the national. And, you know, just even starting off, watching them down to the first was a great buzz for me. And then to have one of them win it and, you know, Aidan's winning grade one, earlier on on John Bond and stuff like that and big it's 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 a different buzz but I get a good kick out of it and then you get one of them on a spare ride one day midweek and yeah that's a kick for you yeah, a personal yeah, yeah. kick yeah it's it's you know um so yeah to to have a champion jockey on your books to have riders riding grade one winners Derry Fox win the national it, it it's all a great buzz. I haven't had a champion yet. Sean's a long way from being champion, but he's in the right. He has position. potential. He, he's in the right place at the minute. Last question for you: Watching the national, where were you when you watched the national? At home, in the sitting room where I'm watching most of them. Are you are you a sort of man where you you know clinch the fist? Yes, that's brilliant. Or are you dancing oh, on the sofa shouting? Oh yeah, I dance around, I dance around the sitting room <laughs> shouting when they win big races. But as well as that, you know, if I think one of them is on a horse at a meeting or last minute and they get changed at half past nine in the morning or at five to ten when things get changed and one is five rides somewhere and they end up going to another meeting one i punch the table and nearly break my hand a couple of times as well yeah so you know yeah you're on one and you think it's a good ride and their regular rider becomes available and they get back on it again i punch the table and nearly break my fingers you know what i mean or if you know, sitting down watching a race, um, I bet the leg off myself if one of them gets beat a short head because you think they're winning. So, or they just fail and you just yeah, that's what I mean. That it's it's the ups and downs of the game. It's you yeah. know as when you were riding. Yeah, you, I get a buzz out of it when they're winning. I get frustrated when I don't get them on a ride or you know what I mean. Yeah. But I don't dwell on it. Once it's done, move it's on. Gone. You move on. You got to move on. Good. Well, you're obviously very good at your job, um, getting a couple of good lads onto those books and um, no doubt you'll get many more and many more grade ones and hopefully nationals. And um, good to see you. Yeah. And uh, keep working hard. I'll try. Cheers.